Okay, so now it's um, August 14th, 2020. 13 minutes after 12, going on 14 minutes after 12. That's why it's the uh, August 14th. I wanted to can beans tonight, but I don't have my sink, so I didn't want to start rattling around in the bathtub with a bunch of jars. So I'll do that tomorrow. <clears throat> right? I should be getting the pipes snake tomorrow, but that won't be until later on, late in the afternoon, and I can't wait that long. So in the meantime... I did those four juice, <coughs> right? This is the pulp from it, which actually still has a fair amount of juice. This is the pot that I was using to make the juice. So, a lot of these apples have the peels on them for two reasons. Okay, one, I just decided I wanted the extra nutrients. And then two, I decided that... Uh, why waste it when it's perfectly good for you and it mushes up with the uh, butt really really well for fruit leather now this one has blueberry in it you've seen me do that this is the raspberries from the back this I picked tonight right so I am going to just give everything a quick rinse through a you know a strainer and obviously I have to rinse it in the bath bathroom, but besides that point. And I'm going to throw it in there. I'm going to bullet it up. I'm going to put it on my trays with a little bit of sugar inside first, right? And I'm going to make more of that. And this is piling up. This is really good stuff, people. Okay. So this is like easy peasy. Anybody can do this. Okay. This time I put sugar in before I'm doing this. So you just take this and you just blend it all up. It's all twenty two at night. So, it might require a bit more sugar. So far, I put in about three quarters cup. Maybe a little under, maybe two thirds. Two thirds. Two thirds of a cup of sugar so far. Because the raspberries are tart. They're not as sweet as the blueberries, right? Plus, they're not cooked. Where the blackberries, I cooked them, and then I de-seeded a lot of the seeds out of it. Where this is just straight up, raw, off-the-bush raspberries. So, it's going to be a little more tart, right? Have that sour bite, but you want more? Trusty spoon. Stir it around a little bit. I'm gonna taste it. Right. Mm. The apples are good. Mm. <laughs> I got goosebumps on that one. That was good. That was really good. Okay, because it's so late, right? I'm not... <laughs> so what's happening here is I have larger pieces of still some of the skin. You can see. I missed it. But that's okay. 
it will de dehydrate into your fruit leather and just as long as you've got teeth you can chew it and what you can't chew you can always spit out after you sucked out the juice because this stuff literally melts in your mouth when you get it in your mouth and it's been in your mouth it's like candy that's what I'm finding with it like it's really good okay and then it's almost like 10 to 1 in the morning after a long day like I have every day all right I want to eat now before I go to sleep and lately I've been craving sardines with onions and lots of mayonnaise <laughs> this is my I had two sandwiches last night before I went to sleep and I'm gonna have two more and then last week I did that as well two nights in a row I don't want to eat too many sardines because it's like tuna, right? You don't tuna has mercury more in it. I don't know about sardines, but hold on a minute. So, um, yeah, I don't know how much mercury sardines have, but two cans once a week, I don't think is gonna hurt me. Right. They're satisfying. Because I don't eat much during the day. Right. When I'm busy doing all the things that I do. Right. So this works. Right. So anyway. As you know, I've been working on some funky shit, right? And I don't know what to think about it, other than I think I should continue working on it real butter, oops, real butter, <laughs> to uh, you know, make it a little more fluent in terms of so there's no doubt because the live stream that I did today with um, them doing their update I didn't see it come down come in on the second row of videos I was too busy looking at the top without realizing that it came in on the bottom right next to six days ago so that video that they restreamed today on the 13th well yesterday I haven't gone to sleep yet right that was done six days ago people that's some scary shit right and to think that YouTube and their staff are changing the code so you don't see the numbers coming in with the old code because they're they've successfully gotten rid of that part but the stream itself had to still come in so I'm gonna keep working on that because I think it's important right I only have so much time in a day I'm obviously overworked. You can see how much I really eat. Right? I mean, obviously I cook too, right? But last little while, not so much, right? Nothing big anyway. Nothing like a big plate of food. Like I went off and I bought some, some canned stew. Uh, there it is. I bought two cans. Andre and I, we shared one already. He ate most of it. And then there's this one. Okay. So, you know, I might eat something like that right now. But 
in terms of making big dinners, that's another D. Right. But what I'm making right now is satisfying. It, it makes me happy. <laughs> but because I do like sardines, and I'm eating more of them lately, now I got lots of, mind you, I got lots of sardines around the house. But in light of the times and how nobody's stopping it from happening because most people aren't even aware of what the hell is going on. Mm, just makes me think that I need to uh, buy more sardines. And I'm going to just keep making these videos as best as I can. That's what I'm going to do. Right? Call it like I see it. Right? Obviously, if I'm interpreting, interpreting it wrong, when I figure that out, I'll let you know. Right? But until then... This is something that needs to be told in terms of what our government is doing and how they're doing it and who's helping them to do it <laughs> in terms of code writers. Right. So. I'd love to have my own nonprofit be able to provide. Well, I don't want to say YouTubers, but other people the opportunity to have their old pages like back in the day when Black Planet used to do that. I don't know. I wonder if Black Planet even exists anymore. I should go f look in there because I, I, I have a page. That's where I learned how to make HTML was because of Black Planet. They gave you your own page. I think Black Voices at one point did that too. And then they shut theirs down, but Black Planet never did. I just remember learning the basics of HTML on Black Planet because they gave me a free web page to uh, do that. Where you actually had to do the HTML yourself in terms of copying and pasting and putting it in right within within their guidelines because obviously they they had the template right it was that template though that got me started yeah and i'm wondering now if if their website is still up i'm going to check into that people i have to find my my password i don't know i got it written down somewhere so anyway then i take some pepper Oh, that's going to be so good. With a nice glass, cold, cold glass of milk. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. It's nice and quiet, right? So I can eat in peace. No, nothing bugging me. Huh? No noise. Nobody saying, hey, hey, hey. You know, do this for me, do that for me. Right? Oh, this is so good. Look. Did you know that people on average, eat more than they should, right? And te technically, in terms of how much Westerners eat and the amount of how much we eat, we should only be eating technically a third of that in order for our, our bodies to metabolize the food, right? With the energy and everything. And we would be healthier, I, I don't overeat, so, like, this is my, what did I eat today? Oh, I had a handful of nachos. That was it. And there was one other thing that I ate. When I was out picking blackberries the second time just a couple of days ago, like, 
two days ago, a day ago, or whatever it was, the, the the person who gave me those styrofoam containers, somebody that went to go see them, was chatting with me up by the blackberry bush, and then ended up giving me these little Asian snacks, where some of them were kind of like a breaded, I wouldn't call them a cookie, but kind of like a breaded cookie, right? That was had peanut taste a little bit to it. So I ate a few of those too. But other than that, this is... Okay, now it's daytime. It's 12 o'clock, and this is what I'm going to do. Right? Washing everything in my bathtub, but that's okay. Now, these beans here, they're kind of stringy. But the husk tastes like this, which is nice. So, to chew and then spit out the string after you've chewed out the pulp, it's fine. And the beans inside, I don't necessarily like them, but when I chop them up and uh, can them and eat them that way with garlic, I like them. So hold on. Eat, this is what these ones are. Okay, now I gave a whole bunch, handful, a couple of handfuls, like big handfuls, at the beginning of the year for my landlady to plant and she planted so she says she has lots so anyway I'm canning these ones okay and that's what's inside them I don't like eating them just like this I like eating them canned and cut and cooked that way with the garlic but if I need them I have them plus I can grow these ones because these ones came from my garden right so just saying and they'll, they'll, they'll sprout next year right like they'll they'll sprout you know even though they've been sitting in a jar for over a year and a bit they'll still sprout so anyway this is what I'm gonna do now obviously in the pressure canner right and then I'm still working on apples got a full another jar a box sorry another box of apples juice right and I'll do one more box of apple juice I'm making up all this uh, apple leather with raspberry blackberry blueberry so that's that's going along pretty good and then the grapes will be coming in right and then I'll probably can some grapes like that for something different um, I'm offering I've, I've offered to give some away to some people as they're coming in because there's going to be so many of them right and uh, maybe uh, we'll see what happens with the tomatoes okay so here's what's happening I am going to add a link I hope this has been right. somewhat insightful, although I did get a little emotional. In my uh, uh, comment section. The speed at which this is all being rolled out. We're, we're Done by, uh, what's his name? We're telling you the Ice Age Farmer. Food, and we're going to start feeding you okay, what you Okay, this is what I'm listening to right now, right? You can find this report and all my reports I'm having on a hard time IceAgeFarmer.com. These fluorescent lights are no good for me. Please also support it at IceAgeFarmer.com. Anyway, support. There's a few different you need to listen to it. Up there. And it is very genuinely because he important. he brings in. Uh, all right, folks, let's go grow abundant food, raise wonderful animals, and uh, build great things. He brings in articles from. Word. Hold on, he's done. Be well. He brings in articles from, uh, you know, the internet, right? where uh talks about the looming food crisis that's coming and how states in the United States are starting to stockpile and have been stockpiling for a while now the food right so that you know when the shit really hits the fan they'll have something to hand out to somebody Right, to, so that people don't start rioting and going nuts. Right, and this is like, and here's the thing, people: our governments are lying to us. <laughs> right, I've I've proven that time after time. Right, and I've shown you how YouTube is trying to cover up that lie. Well, I mean, it could be coincidental that they changed their code just as I'm doing what I'm doing, but I highly doubt that, people. There's no reason for them to change their code like that and then take out that little code on my page, 
right? That's not that's not a computer doing that. That's a human being doing that. Okay, <laughs> right? Computers only told what to do, right? So, but yeah, I want you to uh, if you if you can go visit that uh, web page, uh, you know that link that video, and uh, listen and maybe look at some of the other videos that he has, right, because he, um, you know, he shows across the world what's happening to the food supply and, you know, and what they're trying to replace our food with <coughs> in terms of lab-grown meats and that kind of stuff, you know, soylent green, right? Now, when Sierra died, right, and it took me 19 days before I could identify her body in a legitimate sense, in terms of I could actually see it. It took me 19 days, people. Okay. Now, when I seen her body, honestly, in terms of the way it looked, I mean, obviously she had been cut open and stitched back, right, because they did that so-called autopsy, which I don't think so. Right. Okay. I'm just looking at this lid here. <laughs> Those anchor lids, right? Anyway, um, when I walked into the room where they had it, it was in a body bag, right? Unzipped. And uh, when I walked into the room, what I smelt was something like if if uh, you had meat in your own house that had started to get old in terms of the blood right because blood when it gets old it begins to smell a certain kind of smell like I was expecting um, because she had been dead for 19 days apparently. Um, so I was expecting something really putrid. But because they had her in a cold storage, that cuts down the decomposition. So you, you didn't get that smell. Instead, what I smelled was kind of like, and now mind you, I had the, that N95 mask on, but I could still smell it, right? It's a sweet offish you know it's 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 not it's like it's when the meat that you buy like beef or whatever with blood in it right you know and you had it for a little while and it's you know it's just on the cusp of going bad just on the cusp of going bad and it gets that sweet kind of um offish smell to it that's you know telling you that you know in another couple of days that's it is going to be really rank ranky right that's pretty much how the room smelled when I walked into it, like it, like a mild fish, if it was a sweet fishy kind of, you know, I don't know how to explain it, right? But it wasn't anything that threw you to the floor and made you want to, you know, puke, right? It wasn't like that, people. And I contribute that to the fact that they had her in cold storage, that's the only reason, <coughs> right? And she wasn't bloated, none of that stuff, right? So... You know, just with the things that they're doing, these, I don't know, things, these things that are running the economy. Like, seriously, people, I'm wondering. I'm wondering what they're going to be doing. Like, they're doing something with these bodies, okay, as they're dying. Right? Hold on a minute. So that's not bad. Okay, look what I got, people. Bam! <laughs> now, isn't that a flashlight? Hey, can you see that? Okay, so what this is, is it's those apples that have been falling. I took the time to peel them all. Right, some are a little more mashed than others. Anyway, you can see how much is there, right? That's a fair amount. Versus, here's the deal. Versus, uh...
Where's your spotlight, Andre? That might be too bright. Get me the spotlight. How do you turn it on? Just hold that button. No, put it on hold. Okay. That's how you do it. Okay, here's the spotlight. And I was having issues with the video being so dark. So how can we do this so it's not so dark? Not like we're prepared here. I don't want things to come falling down. There we go. Okay. Anyway, as you can see, right, you can go. So here's the deal. I'm not... Hold on, please. He's uh, doing his numbers right now. So anyway, I'm doing double shifts, people. I don't have time to make too many videos. And I already said any videos that I'm going to be making are going to be of more pertinence, of, of relevant, right? Things of relevancy, right? However... <laughs> I just want you to see what I go through every day. Right? I just want you to see what I go through every day. Okay. Now, mind you, some of it I do to myself. Obviously, the canning and everything I do to myself. Right? But I want that backup food in the house, people. Okay? And what I've got here... Right? What I've got here, and then I mix in a bunch of blueberries in with it, I cook it all up, and I make this after I've, right? And this is really, really, really good. So this one's done with strawberries, I have with apricot, uh, I think I did raspberries, now we're going in to put some with blueberries right as the fruit leather slowly but surely you can see what's happening here some are with blueberries some are with blackberries some are with raspberries i've got some there over there that i just did with the raspberries so you can see what's happening here right so that's why i'm kind of taking a little detour and doing this which works out really good and I did 12 jars of beans right already you can see right and when you look at a can of peas you know, I'm not gonna go out of my way to can peas but I will beans so I stocked up on peas knowing that I was gonna grow beans and canned beans so do you see how that works right and this is uh, 300 and well, I can't really read it, 98 mill milliliters, right, in terms of size, where this is 500, so it's, it's almost the same, right, and then, so I'll wash those and let them dry, because what's going to happen here is, I'm going to put this in the fridge, because I've already done it, and I've picked more blackberries yesterday, only because, right, they're growing, and uh, it doesn't take much to make more blackberry jelly. And then if I want the pulp, I can still make another batch of that fruit leather with the apple after the fact, because the apples are still falling. Right? So I'm doing that, but I'm not going to really walk you through it. Right? I'll just show you, right? And But right now I'm just going to go out. Hold on a minute. Okay, so, big box of juice, right, spilling out for the next box, which I have juice, which I need to can, which more than likely I'll do tonight. I'm going to show you how I'm doing double shifts here, right? Right, and I may very well even do the jelly, it depends. And then, here's, you can see that's piling up. Now, this, these bags mainly are just temporary, because I'm going to be putting some of this stuff in jars, because if you put it in jars... It lasts longer, it stays fresher, and it doesn't pick up any, you know, as plastic deteriorates over a period of time, you know, it leaches, right? Now, just remember, if you put the plastic somewhere in a bucket off into the dark, cool area, 
it's not going to uh, oxidize as quickly as if it was out in the open air, right? But long term, I'm not keeping them like this. This is just for now because I've got different kinds, right? So, oh, I'm trying to label them down. I don't know. Anyway, there's the beans, you can see. And now, hold on. Okay, but mainly what I'm doing is I'm working in here, people. Okay, I want to open up this room for the kids so they can play the drums. This is a drum set here, right? Before it really starts to rain. Right, I want, you know, a little Lame can play at this and, you know, clear out, right? I'm going to take this stuff here, which is all craft stuff mainly, and move it someplace else. So what I'm doing, though, is because, one, I don't want Matilda moving in here next year with her babies. She's already been in here one year. Was in here for like three and a half, almost four months. I couldn't use it for nothing. And when I got in here, boy, oh boy, what a mess. They were having fun with all the toys and everything that they were ripping apart. So, but look what I got. This is kind of like a plexiglass. Plexiglass is so, so expensive. I was at Home Depot yesterday pricing out this stuff. And I'll tell you, I'm happy I have this. That's all I need. It's not very thick, but it will suffice. And I've got four sheets. Do you see that? I have window frames. I could put windows, but I'm, I'm, that's not, you know, it's not, it's not completely necessary to put these big ass window frames, those ones, right? I'd like to, honestly, I'd like one here and one there, but that would require, uh, I don't know. I think either or, because one of these, honestly, or maybe even two, one sheet. I kind of wanted to put, cut that open and run, where am I? There it is. And run one up on that, but for what it's worth, probably not. So, anyway, my goal is pull this out. You can see I've already started, right? And uh, be grateful that I've got plexiglass because a sheet like that, right now you're looking at like 70 bucks. <laughs> and the bigger they get, the more expensive they get. So, outside of that, people, I'm not going to really... Outside of that, oh, hold on. Hey, the camera, don't fall. Outside of that, I don't, I'm not gonna be like in and out. I'll show you maybe halfway through what I'm doing. It's so hot out here. I already want to go find a little tank top or something, <laughs> but I have to get up on it, right? So what I'm going to do is just like little blips and blurbs in terms of videos right now, just to show, just to keep you updated as to, you know, you just got to keep moving along, moving along, right? And, um, but in terms of the other things that I'm working on, if I come with something of pertinence, for sure, I'm posting it. Outside of that, I'm not going to be walking you through how to can juice and walking you through how to make jelly. I'll just show you the end product so that you can go, hmm, that's what I want too, right? So go find yourself some apples. It'll take you a long way, right? And now that a lot of my canning is done, how many turkeys did I do? Three? I did three turkeys? Two for sure. I think it was three in the last four months, right? And, uh, you know, I've done all the, all the meat canning for the most part. I'm, I'm happy with it. You know, I've got lots of those sauces with the other fruits combined in with the applesauce for Amari and Alea May. And Tisha likes using those. So I'm happy with that. And, you know, I've got my few vegetables. and So I'm all good now. The canning is, well, I still have grapes to do. But I, I don't have to focus so much on that, although I still am, as I do this stuff. But... I'm not going to be bringing the camera out and running videos every day, every two, three days, right? Like I, 
have been doing when I do this stuff, right? Just because I just want to get on with it and get it done. But I do want to continue working on what the provincial government of uh, British Columbia, Canada is doing and has been doing because I think that's important. So it's got to be a, you know, a balance in there. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Hell yeah.